Hello, today I would like to show you how I'm going to prepare those two soldier portable chargers for a field day where we are going to need to recharge a lot of Mantec batteries, the BB390, the nickel metal hydrate for a older radios like a Satcom LS5 and the new one, the BB2590, which are a lithium ion as you can see that charger soldier portable charger is fully populated with a plate for that type of battery and each of those plate accept two batteries but there is a one technical limitation of those chargers that they are only recharging two batteries at once that's mean maybe technically not two batteries but two channels because I'm aware of battery plate adapters that accept a uh, multiple consumer grade AA batteries so they technically can be a uh, multiple batteries in a series or parallel and don't know the, the detail configuration but each of those plates have a uh, two channels so this battery charger is capable of charging only two channels at once so if we are going to fully populate it with eight batteries like that we are going to charge only two batteries after one of them is going to be fully charged then the charger is going to jump to the another slot and charge those two those two will be good, it go to the another one. So only two batteries at the same time. The main reason for having two battery chargers is that we will be able to recharge four batteries at once, which is great, but in that configuration is pretty bad. And what I would like to do, I would like to move one of those plates into that charger so we can stack four batteries on that one four batteries on that one and when the two will be ready the charger is going to jump for the another two and someone can swap the two ready in that like two hour time frame so and that's in my opinion going to give us the maximum use from those two chargers the one plate that is going to be left free I'm going put into the old charger that is using only one slot and it's dedicated for the nickel metal hydrate batteries. After that I'm going to show you how the charger is acting after finishing recharging two batteries and how it's jumping for the next one that is waiting. So let's begin. I'm going to remove one of those plates. I'm going to pull that element and release the battery plate and this battery plate is going to be moved into that location first we're starting from the top and then we are going to slide it down it's going to click and latch on that mechanism and we are good to go now I'm going to show you that what I told you is actually true. We are going to put one battery on each of those battery plates and you will be able to see what's going on. They are interconnected. So if battery A is going to be charged, the any of those slots in the A will be not possible to be used. When we are going to be using slot B, then any slot B will be not possible to use. So let's do a test. I'm going to plug our battery on the slot B. And here I'm grabbing another battery on slot B. And if I'm correct, then we should be charging only one of those batteries. I can populate the third one. Let's turn it on. 
and we should charge only one of them. And as you can see, we detected the battery B and it's trying to find a battery on, its, on a slot number A. It didn't find and it's going to repeat the process. It's bypassing the empty, empty tray. So as you can see, I was correct. When I'm going to swap our battery into the slot B, then we will be able to recharge those two at the same time. So we should detect that battery first, that second, but the third one is not going to be charging because the slot A is going to be used. And as you can see, exactly like I predicted, the battery B is being charged, the battery A is being charged, the fear battery is not being touched at all, it's not detected, it's waiting, and it's going to be recharged only after slot B is going to be finished. The battery is finished and we should jump here. And as like predicted, we are recharging that battery. That one is green, that one is still charging. If that would be finished, it would be going to the next in the A slot. So that's how the charger looks like. So as you can see with that knowledge, you can spread your batteries across multiple devices to get the best results. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.